lovely, lovely imps, Donald Trump, Big Donnie D, the Lord and Savior, the Prophet, the Chosen One, the Swamp Drainer, the Storm Bringer, Donald Trump, has been arrested. That's right, I'm not kidding you. No, no jokes, no uh, memes. He has actually, unironically, been arrested, okay? And I, I have to show you guys, it's getting wild in New York City, okay? Everybody, I have to show you a picture of what went down in New York City after the arrest of Donald Trump, okay? Because it's gone deranged, okay? Look, look at what happened. The streets are packed with patriots and Donald Trump refused arrest. Everyday MAGA Americans were, were crowding in the streets to support Donald Trump. And he didn't care even a little bit. Look, he even is frowning twice. There's Marjorie Taylor Greene. There's Rom DeSantis. There's Marjorie Taylor too. And this is, uh, what's his name? That's Matt Gates right there. What, why is everybody saying that this is AI? This is not AI. This is what Trumpers look like. Look, right back there, you can see, um, another Ron DeSantis, I guess. He, I don't know what he, he kind of looks like Ron DeSantis. Oh, here's, uh, Here's, uh, what's his name there? Uh, 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 Ron Paul. There's Ron Paul. Oh, there's Sebastian Gorka. This isn't, this is definitely not AI, okay? There's no way that this is an AI message. This is just what normal Trumpers look like, okay? Even though there's, I mean, look, they fi even figured out how to make uh, an American flag that flies in midair with nothing attached to it. And look, they even have different numbers of stars on every flag to show how American they are. And even though they're in the middle of Manhattan, there's a strong gusting wind all the way down the road uh, running even where the buildings are. So yeah, um, obviously, uh, if, if anybody hadn't caught it yet, that's an AI image, uh, thankfully provided to us by the Trump fan account known as Pat's World 100% uh, registered trademark called It's Pat World. And he said, uh, Trump 2024, MAGA 2024, Trump arrest. So thank you very much to the Trump fan who bravely depicted the, uh, uh, the, the, the Trumpers march on New York City. Now, obviously that's all uh, a goofing and a gagging. Um, but of course we have actual real photos of Donald Trump's arrest. Okay, are you guys ready? You guys ready to see what it actually looked like? This is what it actually looked like, okay? I'm not kidding you. This is it. This is what it looked like when Donald Trump was arrested. Right there, okay? I'm not kidding. That's it. This is the actual photo. Uh, of course, Donald Trump was not put in cuffs. Uh, he, like a little bitch, even though uh, he was talking about how the Patriots must rise up, even though he was talking about how he'll never go, he'll never go peacefully, that he'll never let the, the demon, demon rats take over, he'll never uh, let the corrupt swamp take him down. Of course, uh, he, he complied and rolled over like a little baby. Um... They allowed him, as long as he agreed to go peacefully, to not have a mugshot and to not have a uh, 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 have any cuffs on. Uh, however, um, <laughs> however, that didn't stop his campaign team from making a fake image of his mugshot to use 
for fundraising, which is, <laughs> of course, the best part of all of this, uh, which is, I just wanted to say, a couple of days ago, I made a tweet, and I, I want to, uh, I want to, I want to give myself a little bit of a pat on the back, okay? Because, uh, remember how I said, disable your dad's and uncle's debit and credit cards for the weekend because the Trump team is about to whip up the biggest sob story fundraiser you've ever seen. Trump is getting indicted. So when they announced that he was actually getting indicted, I, of course, advised people to disable dad and uncle's credit card because, of course, he did exactly what I predicted, which is that he, uh, they made a fake image of him with a mugshot and then they sent it out to raise money for his campaign. Um, incredible. W just, it's just so funny. As, and, oh, it gets even better, okay? It gets even better, all right? Like, Trump has not been handling it, like, well at all, okay? The man has been losing his absolute cool all <laughs> over social media, okay? I want to show you guys what he was tweeting on tr on his Truth Social. <laughs> This this is the official Donald Trump account on Truth Social, okay? And he tweeted a picture of him holding a baseball bat and swinging it at the at the DA who's who's uh go going after him. And of course, uh his sons Eric and Don Jr did indeed dox the judge's daughter uh trying to claim that because she uh has done political work that apparently uh like that flows upwards like like she's a part of a company that has worked with uh with joe biden um that apparently that means that like because the daughter who's not a judge works in political work that that means that the judge is corrupt uh by i don't know where the connection is exactly there but that was the claim they did indeed dox the judge's daughter uh but i want to show you guys something else too which is really really funny um so l let's just go let's just go to donald trump i want to look at his truth social feed okay let's take a look at some of the stuff that he's been posting on here okay let's just take a live scroll through okay so uh <laughs> This is him making claims about making, uh, 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 he's still going, he's still stumping his messaging, okay? The only crime that I have committed is to fearlessly defend our nation from those who seek to destroy it. Here's him, t here's him, uh, streaming on Rumble. Incredible. Here's him saying they can't gag all of us with a picture of a, I don't know if this one's, I don't know if this one, this one looks more real. But also, it's not a very large crowd. Uh, just gotta say. I wanna find the one here. Alvin Bragg shut down New York City, brought in 38,000 NYPD officers, and will spend an estimated $200 million for a totally legal $130,000 NDA. On top of all that, the Ninth Circuit Court just awarded me the $122,000 over the $500,000 already awarded from Stormy Horseface Daniels. By the way, it's really funny that he spends a lot of his time, uh, uh, insulting Stormy Daniels when it is fact that he fucked Stormy Daniels. Like, that's what this whole thing is all about. The facts uh, of what, uh, the fact that he did have an affair with Stormy Daniels, it's like, he's just insulting himself. It'd be like if you, if you, like, sat down for dinner and you ate, like, the biggest, like, like, you ate, like, a giant meal and then after eating all of it, you were like, only a stupid fucking pig would ever eat a meal like that. Only a disgusting hog. But then there's video of, video of you eating the meal that you're now shitting on and saying that only a stupid, disgusting hog would do that. Like, the he fucked Stormy Daniels. It's no ifs, ands, or buts. He's just insulting the person that he obviously fucked. It's so stupid. Oh my god, I, lo I love it so much. <laughs> I love this.
things when you see rhinos like Carl Rove, Bill Barr, or Paul Ryan on your television screen. Just turn to a different station or turn off your TV. You're better off watching the Democrats. Why does Fox keep putting on Bill Barr as an attorney general? He was a complete coward who absolutely was petrified of being impeached, which the Democrats threatened to do until he became their virtual slave and then refused to investigate and prosecute the massive election of fraud. Oh my God. It's so amazing. The radical left Democrats have criminalized the justice system. This is not what America was supposed to be. A very unfair venue with some areas that voted just 1% Republican. This case should be moved to Staten Island, a very fair and secure location. No! No! The place where I committed the crimes! Oh, please move it to a more favorable place! Bill, Bill Barr... Uh, he's insulting Bill Barr, but just remember, Trump and Bill Barr were like fucking this for the entirety of his campaign. Once again, another example of him just being unbelievably catty and just being like, oh, Bill Barr defected. Um, it's he's a, he's a stupid coward. I don't even know why I hired him. Um, I hired him because he was so good at lying, uh, even though I'm saying that he's an obvious and stupid loser, but I hired him and worked with him for eight years, but that's not, a, that doesn't reflect badly on me. Donald Trump is the greatest coper of all time. It's so friggin' amazing. It's so incredible. Oh my god. It's so unbelievably incredible. He has what? Uh, 33 points of indictment? Here's him tweeting the same thing twice in a row. Wow! District Attorney Bragg just illegally leaked the various points. DA Bragg just illegally leaked the 33 points of indictment. This is a truly a very stable individual. He's doing okay. Donald Trump is is doing okay. Here's him tweeting about Fox News talking about violent criminals emboldened under Alvin Bragg. Notice that even even though Fox News has alleged has allegedly tried to move away from Donald Trump, that at the end of the day, they just end up doing exactly what he wants all the time, that they're accusing this random DA of being like a like a like emboldening crime. They're just inventing these narratives completely in subservience to Donald Trump. It's actually amazing. Is oh my god, do we have a sketch? <laughs> <laughs> this is real? Oh my god! <laughs> he does look like the Grinch! This is a fish this is from the official Reuters account! This is real! <laughs> oh my god, I hadn't seen this one! It's so good! Oh <laughs> Oh, there's just all these pictures of, there's all these pictures of Donald Trump holding his fist up. He looks so lazy. He's so, he's not even feeling it anymore. Also, oh my God, there was a thing. I want to see if I can find it. I want to see if I can find the, uh, the, the message. Hold on. Somebody sent me a link. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Yes, 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 yes. I love this. Hold on. Let me see if I can find the source of this. Hold on. Please let me find this. Uh, is it this one? Yes, yes, this is the one. Okay, guys, I need you to I need you to see I need you to hear this, okay? This is from the Daily Beast, all right? Day of chaos. Donald Trump is arrested and arraigned on 34 felony charges. The city that made Donald Trump now threatens to ruin him. Okay, just get here. Ready? After decades of evading legal repercussions, former President Donald Trump has been arrested and arraigned on Tuesday in the city that built him, appearing before a Manhattan criminal court where he pleaded not guilty to 34 felony counts. Trump faces a potential January 2024 criminal trial. 
uh, over falsifying business records in order to conceal information from voters and lie to the IRS, marking a new chapter of his life where he will formally be under the cra a cloud of criminal charges. But I want you to check this out, okay? The ex-president was released from custody almost exactly two hours after he showed up in criminal court at 3.25 p.m. Yeah, they know he's not a flight risk. They know this guy is defeated. About 57 minutes after he entered the courtroom for his arraignment, while he was expected to speak to reporters at the courthouse, Trump opted to remain silent before his scheduled press conference later Tuesday night back at Mar-a-Lago. So I guess things didn't go so well because he didn't talk to the he didn't talk to the press. Instead, he went and coped on Rumble.tv. TV. But here's the real part. Trump remained visibly deflated and visibly perturbed in the courtroom as he was reminded to tamp down his violent rhetoric. In a pivotal, pivotal moment, Justice Juan Mershon cautioned Trump to avoid inciting violence, to which Trump merely grumbled. There is somewhere out there, there is video and audio recording of Donald Trump going, oh, well, yeah, well, if you have to. And then the justice says, the justice goes on to say, if you're disruptive, I do have the authority to remove you from the courtroom. Do you understand that? The judge asked him, repeatedly referring to him as Mr. Trump throughout the proceeding. I do, Trump whispered. Throughout the 57 minute long arraignment, Trump kept his hands under the desk while slouching or, or folding his arms and looking uncomfortable. <laughs> During the proceedings, Manhattan prosecutors stressed the danger of Trump's aggressive comments to supporters that targeted District Attorney Alvin Bragg and even the judge himself, pointing out that Trump had posted an image online positioned to show him holding a bat threateningly over Bragg's head. Oh, they, they definitely... Oh, it's just audio? Do we have audio of it? Oh my god, do we have audio of this? Please, I need to hear it. Hold on. Mr. Trump has made recent uh, threatening emails and speeches, both directed at New York City, the courts here in New York, the justice system, and the district attorney's office. He said that these are irresponsible social media posts that threaten death and destruction, and even World War III. He said that these public statements to the district attorney, which included a photo of him swinging a baseball bat towards the district attorney's head, uh, was very uh, concerning. They're concerned uh, about this and, and what effect it will have on potential jurors and witnesses. But they said that this will not dissipate the office and they're seeking a protective order regarding discovery materials. They're very concerned that um, some of the uh, attorneys or some of this may be leaked or that President Trump himself would use some of that discovery in a way that would compromise a potential trial. Um, they began discussing uh, conditions of release. They talked about how attorney, uh, defense attorney Joe Tacopina had communications with Stormy Daniels and that could pre uh, present a conflict. Uh, in response, Todd Blanche, representing Mr. Trump, said that the people just spoke for 10 minutes. They haven't seen discovery. They talk about Michael Cohen, and Michael Cohen has been standing on the steps of this courthouse revealing all kinds of um, material that will be relevant in the trial. Uh, Mr. Trump has... Mr. Trump has... Um, uh, sorry, I'm just being moved here. Um, they say that um, Mr. Trump has re responded forcefully and clearly he's very upset. He's frustrated. <laughs> this is so amazing. And he believes that this is an injustice. The hearing is going on right now. Um, the judge said that he's taking the rhetoric and the language he's using and he's very concerned about it. Lance then said, well, this is free speech. Um, he talked about the investigator, Mark Pomerantz, who wrote specific. I'm going to have to talk it back to you, Lester. Oh, I wish we had a rec oh, I hope someday that we get to hear the recording actually of Donald Trump. Of Donald Trump being like, we're fine, fucking, very well, if you, if, if, if I have to. Fucking grumbling and crossing his arms. Oh, that's so unfortunate. It's so unfortunate. Oh, just that that image, that image of the of of the uh of the courtroom art is just so perfect. 
you just can't beat this. Just keep in mind that the history books will forever have a copy of this image of Donald Trump being grumpy at his at his uh, arraignment because they finally got him on all of the all of the criminal garbage that he was that he was absolutely trying to pull. They got him on this. Oh, incredible. Absolutely incredible. He genuinely looks, he looks like a grandpa that needs a, a, a nap immediately. He needs another pudding cup to calm him down because otherwise he's gonna start saying slurs at the judges. Just amazing, just incredible. Now, of course, oh yeah, here's the other, uh, here's the other thing. Uh, this was the, this was, uh, this is the part that I was talking about. Um, here, we can get bigger versions of this. Uh, Donald Trump's kids, Eric Trump, uh, they are all handpicked. It's pre-arranged. This corruption is on a different level. The judge, the daughter of the judge overseeing Trump's case worked for Kamala Harris campaign. Now she serves as a president of the company that has Biden Harris campaign as a client. So the daughter of this rant of this judge works we don't know what the company does we don't know what she did for kamala harris's campaign uh but apparently this is a sign of corruption this is a this is who they handpicked uh when they were when they were uh, uh when they were constructing the conspiracy they chose the daughter who at one point worked for the campaign of the vice president. They couldn't get anybody higher ranked. You'd think they would have gotten like Joe Biden's personal fixer or something like that, but nah, they can only get the discount store. But you know, it doesn't matter because of course what they're actually doing is of course putting this uh, woman on blast to their deranged followers. Even though this lady didn't do anything, this lady doesn't have any connection to the case. Just keep in mind, like, She's not connected to the case in any way, as far as we can tell. They're just putting her face, her name, her job uh, uh, out there to their deranged fans. For what reason, you might ask? Hmm, almost sounds like the judge, the judge who said, we're worried that there's a safety risk for most of the people involved in this case, uh, have a pretty good reason for doing that. Isn't that kind of, isn't that kind of wild? It's kind of deranged and also incredibly pathetic how desperate Donald Trump is and also how pathetic the turnout is. Uh, they got a small crowd of people for the arrest of Donald Trump. That's it. A tiny, whiny crowd of people. That's it. Wh look at this shit. Wait a minute. Look at this shit. This is just a new this is a news article I just came across. Republicans react with outrage at Donald Trump's indictment directly threatening Alvin Bragg. So they are threatening the DA. House Republicans reacted with outrage on Tuesday to the arraignment of former President Donald Trump, vowing to continue to pressure po prosecutors to abandon the case even as they held off from issuing a subpoena to force them to answer to Congress. Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy pledged to use the investigative powers of the House to hold Alvin Bragg, the Manhattan District Attorney, accountable for his work against Donald Trump. If you guys, if, 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 if anybody missed the memo, the Republican Party are literally all just Donald Trump's minions. They have nothing going for them. They're like, oh yeah, the DA is doing his job and pursuing a case, uh, a, a credible crime that was committed by the President of the United States. We're going to punish him for that. We're gonna make his life hell. They are literally all just his minions. Just deranged. Yeah, the party of law and order, everybody. He said that Bragg was using federal funds, apparently referring to a small amount of federal money the Manhattan DA's office used in order to fund the, the, the investigation of Trump in order to further a farce case. Bragg's weaponization of the justice process will be held accountable by Congress. You're doing your job the way that we, the the or the the Law and Order Party, told you. Oh, we're gonna get you for this. Ah, it's so pathetic. Tr Republicans have, Republicans have no principles. Their only principle is follow the strongest guy in the room, and they hate it. 
that Donald Trump is their strongest guy in the room. Do you know, do you guys remember how many, uh, how many fucking right wingers have tried to jump off the board to be like, oh, we're not on the Trump train anymore, only to immediately have to kowtow and bend over to Donald Trump again? And just remember, they're strong, man, okay? Ron DeSantis doesn't have a chance right now. As far as polling goes, Ron DeSantis doesn't have a chance against Donald Trump. Donald Trump is blowing out the competition among polling over and over and over again, okay? And their number one guy, the Republicans' number one guy, rolled over like a pussy today and went, no, don't handcuff me. I said I was gonna fight, but what I really meant is that I'm gonna try and get my psychos on social media to do something drastic. Pathetic. Pathetic. Just remember, these are our opponents, okay? These are the people who are trying to tell you that uh, the greatest threat to the universe is trans people, okay? Just remember, these are our opponents. Their strongest guy rolls over like a bitch. Just embarrassing. Oh my god, I want to see what- I want to see what other nonsense- here. Oh, here's the clips! Oof! Oh no! 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 Ten don't! Bucks. You gotta be- t you gotta be kidding me! Hold on, there's clips, hold on. I'm sorry I'm so upset, but please help President Trump. If you can fi afford five or ten bucks, if you can't afford a dollar fine, just pray. <laughs> Make sure you vote as early as you can in your state. Don't risk anything anymore. Vote as soon as you can. Pray for this country. Pray for this president. And if you got any money to give, give it. My lovely, lovely imps, this viewer-supported humble internet show is on the on par with the former president of the United States, the God Emperor Donald Trump is at the exact same position as the humble demon mama these days. Please consider throwing a few bucks my way. It, I promise you I'll do more with it than Donald Trump did. Donald Trump has... <laughs> As Lindsey Graham, please consider throwing $5 towards Donald Trump in this time of need. Please consider a $5 subscription to the website or a super chat. Oh my god, it's amazing! I will cover that in just a minute, nuts. That is awesome. Five dollars. It's five dollars a month. That's fucking that is Donald Trump right now. Oh my oh my god Here let's let's hear this let's hear this I want to hear this one too numbers. Not the same place that I know not the same place that you know hold on this this audio is too low I got to crank up this audio a little bit And this is where we are right now. I have a Trump-hating judge with a Trump-hating wife and family whose daughter worked for Kamala Harris and now receives money from the Biden-Harris campaign and a lot of it. Is that even true? I think he got the facts wrong. I don't think it's from the, the campaign. I've been together, came out today, everybody said this is not really an indictment. There's nothing here. There's 33 counts of felony here. Yeah, that's totally nothing. Like, guys, I know it's the meme that everybody's laughing that he's getting busted for campaign finance, but, like, 33 felony counts of campaign finance fraud isn't exactly nothing, okay? I, I don't know about you, but I've never committed uh, uh, any felony uh, campaign finance, uh, 33, let alone 33 counts of it, okay? It's not exactly nothing, all right? Lawyers came to me and they said, there's nothing here. They're not even saying what you did. The criminal is the district attorney because he illegally leaked massive amounts of grand jury information. Just remember, I don't know if that's true that he did anything illegal. Uh, I'm sure we'll find out. I highly doubt that that's true. But just remember that all of Trump's former allies have been literally shelling out information by the bucket load to sell him out. All of the people that he burned, 
uh, in, in the past, uh, specifically his his uh, his lawyer. Um, uh, God, what's his name? I, I always blank on his name. Um, the Donald Trump lawyer, Michael. Somebody give me the name. I literally always forget his last name. I don't know why I always do this. Somebody give me the last name. Um, anyway, uh, he's been just... Uh, Michael Cohen, Michael Cohen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Michael Cohen. I always forget his last name. I don't know why. Um, but uh, Michael Michael Cohen has been like blasting, like I said, just shoveling out private information that is totally within his legal right to do because Donald Trump burned him hard. Donald Trump completely betrayed his own guy. Like, and, and so the guy squealed on him. He ratted so hard. This is why Donald Trump has been got on this one because Donald Trump... Uh, 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 just basically threw Michael Cohen under the bus and then Michael Cohen was like fine then if you're gonna throw me under the bus I'm gonna throw you under the bus and that's how we ended up here how long ago did you see this whole thing coming? Oh, I did not expect them to get him on this in particular, uh, but I've covered this exact uh, case for a while. It's just nobody really, th I don't think anybody really thought it was gonna go this far, but he's so bad at it. Like, okay, as a matter of opinion, okay? This is a matter of opinion, not legally. This is not a legal statement because I'm not a lawyer or anything like that. But all of us know how much bullshit Donald Trump has been involved in, how much illegal stuff Donald Trump was involved in. There is so much. Donald Trump was like barging through walls when he was in the White House, even after the White House. There are so many things that he did that are in violation of some rule or another, as far as we can tell. It's kind of surprising that it's this one to a lot of people, but also you have to realize that it was bound to be one of these things. When you are when you are so brazen and so careless and also so aggressive, like he's constantly on the attack, he's constantly breaking all of these laws while he's the president, while he's supposedly a law and order president, this guy is supposed to be the guy who doesn't break the laws, who doesn't engage in the corruption. Um, it, and yet we all know that he was corrupt as hell. So on one hand, we all knew that all of this stuff was going on, but it is surprising that he's actually being arrested on it, that he's actually gotten here. Keep in mind, he already got indicted once. So like he's breaking world records as far as American presidents go for being the guy who got arrested of the first former president to be arrested and also uh, uh, indicted twice, right? Was he indicted twice? Uh, not indicted, uh, 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 impeached. Was it twice? I can't even remember now. Yes, Donald Trump has become the first U.S. president to be impeached twice. So he was impeached two times, broke that record, and of course, now he's also the first former president to be arrested. The man is just the, he is the pinnacle of American corruption. And he tries to pretend like he's an avatar of law and order. So on one hand, uh, uh, we all knew that he was breaking laws left and right. We all knew that this guy was corrupt as can be. Uh, and that all of his words are literally nothing but fascistic posturing. That he's just trying to uh, present a strong front and crack down on his opponents and people that he doesn't like. Um, oh God. Oh no. I want to see this line real quick. Attorney in Atlanta, who is doing everything in her power to indict me over an absolutely perfect phone call, even more perfect than the one I made with the president of Ukraine. Remember, I kept saying, that's a perfect call. This one was more perfect. <laughs> Nobody said, sir, you shouldn't say that. Many people on the phone. Well, local racist. So now he's blaming his dudes. He's saying, nobody told me I shouldn't say that. Nobody, nobody told me that would get me in trouble. Oh, it's their fault. Oh my God, Inc incredible. Yeah, look. Oh, I got it, I got the image of the thing. Look at the fundraising. This is the Trump, this is the Trump store, okay? With the fake, the fake mugshot that says in plain text underneath, not guilty.
Donate $50 and you'll get a free shirt. Damn, only $47 for this beautiful t-shirt? Wow, only 50 bucks? You're telling, what a deal, what a steal. Damn, that's what he should be going to prison for because that's criminal. A free shirt for $50? Amazing. <laughs> Apparently this is one of Donald Trump's lawyers. Bro, look at my lawyer dog. I'm going to I'm going to prison. Oh no. What? He looks like he's having a medical emergency. What's what's happening? His cheeks are a shade of, his cheeks are literally a brighter shade of red than the OAN American flag. Oh no, dude. Oh no. I want to see, I want to see, I want to see what the, what, what are the, what are the Trumpites saying? Oh my God. I want to see what the Trump heads are saying right now. Where is it? Let's see. Trump to G. Oh yeah. Oh my God. I completely forgot. Marjorie Taylor Greene said that Donald Trump was uh was basically Nelson Mandela. <laughs> oh my God. Just amazing. By yes, yes, radical corrupt governments, and it's beginning today in New York City. Um, and I just can't believe it's happening, but I'll always support him, he's done nothing wrong. President Trump is joining some of the most incredible people in history being arrested today. Um, Nelson Mandela was arrested, served time in prison. Jesus. Jesus was arrested and murdered by uh, the Roman government. There have been many people. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> um, who else is cool? Um, Yoda. Uh, who else is cool? Uh, Walter. Oh wait, no, he's not cool. Um, shit. Who else is cool? Um, um, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, Jesus, um, uh, uh, Julius Caesar, he was, uh, well, he wasn't really arrested, uh, what's this cool, uh, uh Shakespeare, that too? <laughs> Dale Earnhardt. Ah! Uh-oh. Oh, no. What's going on here? What's going on? Wait, is there... Bye. See ya. All right. So, okay. all right. Bye. Bye-bye. See ya. All right. So, okay. all right. Bye. Bye-bye. See ya. All right. Uh, wait, was, was that her partner? Is that her husband? Was she just doing a political interview with her own husband? Oh, oh, oh what? What? You just wanted a kissy kiss? Republicans are. S <sighs> I don't even know. Oh, it's her. It's actually. It's apparently her boyfriend. Oh, she's dating her producer. Oh, so it's like literally she's getting interviewed on her on her boyfriend's news network. Oh no. Oh no, she's in love with the she's in love with the with the media guy. She's in love with the corrupt naughty journalists. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Oh god. All right, everybody. Uh so Donald Trump officially arrested, officially the most criminal president uh in American history, arrested uh, 34 felony counts, which he says he's he's innocent of, but I'm gonna be completely honest. There is no way, there is no way in hell 
that they pushed this far if they are not 100% sure that they've got him dead to rights, okay? Donald Trump, there is no way he's getting out of this, all right? Uh, Donald Trump is officially gonna be the most arrested president that has ever existed, um, which is certainly something. Uh, and uh, it's also hilarious that they make comparisons to like Nelson Mandela and stuff like that uh, and, because uh, unlike uh, uh, unlike Nelson Mandela and unlike uh, they should have gone for Lula would be another one that they could have made a comparison to but they don't want to compare to him because he's a lefty and uh, but unlike either of these people who were un who were clearly arrested for very very obvious political reasons in order specifically to disempower them on tr uh, invented grounds, uh, Donald Trump uh, is insanely corrupt. Uh, he has done nothing but uh, spread misinformation and lies for the entire time in his office. He inspired his uh, his cronies to attempt to overthrow pathetically, and they failed, obviously, the democracy of the United States of America. Uh, and all around, it's been a hilarious chapter, uh, if not the most pathetic and embarrassing chapter of American history. But thank goodness... I am all here for America embarrassing itself. Um, uh, uh, the, honestly, uh, Americans uh, need a big heaping of humble uh, pie because, uh, frankly, Americans suck. So there you go. Yeah. He looks so miserable. Oh, there's no doubt the guy's miserable. Like, he has no energy in his speeches. He, his speeches afterwards were like he was falling asleep. Antifa Private 161 asked, would you argue it's okay as anarchist socialists to celebrate an action by the American state? Totally. It's absolutely hilarious when two representatives of the of the American imperial state destroy each other. It's there's almost nothing I love to see more than uh, wings of the American uh, uh, empire destroy each other uh, uh, out of their their own sort of uh, mechanical proceedings. It's like Donald Trump can't stop being a fascist and neither can the American justice system. And so they just smash into each other. And it's like, never, never uh, 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 cease from celebrating your opponent's uh, mistakes and losses. Uh, just remember that. How will this affect Donald Trump's presidential run? Will he still be able to run? I don't know. I think a lot of that is going to depend on uh, on how the uh, court proceeding goes down, but I don't imagine it's going to go very well for him. Even if Donald Trump runs again, um, he's been bleeding support among anyone who isn't his most devoted cult. Um, there's a lot of Republicans who will probably just stay home um, out of disinterest. Uh, the like the rhino faction, a lot of those are gonna obviously fall in line behind Donald Trump, but keep in mind that the Republicans already struggle to win elections. Their numbers, uh, they, they, they take advantage of the electoral college uh, for the last couple of elections in order to win uh, these elections, they lose really hard in the popular vote. And this gets even harder when stuff like this happens. Um, he's been having a huge deflation of uh, of like, uh, of, of support outside of his core. Obviously his core MAGA cult is, they, they will follow him to the grave. The deranged MAGA cult will do whatever whatever he says. They will buy his $50 t-shirts. They will shell out $5 because Lindsey Graham told them to on Fox News. Um, but that's not a very large number of people. And I don't think that he can carry himself to victory with just the MAGA cult. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, I... Uh, 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 so I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's really hard to say exactly how it's going to go. I imagine this will help him in the primaries, but he's ruined when it comes to the general. I don't know about that. It's really, really, really hard. Um, uh, it, it, it's really hard to say exactly how it's going to help him, uh, how it's going to affect him. There is the possibility that his campaign uses this to basically launch himself to an enormous amount of support. But I got to be honest, Donald Trump has not been feeling particularly energetic. I think he's actually demoralized. I don't know if he's having fun with it anymore. And um, 
and uh, Donald Trump losing uh, like interest or losing his his pace is like really important. Seeing as how Donald Trump is like the entire, he's the beating heart of his entire movement. Uh, unlike uh, the Republican machine, which aims to create politicians that will win, basically can be like replaced at any moment. Nobody can replace Donald Trump. If Donald Trump uh, loses uh, loses his energy, if Donald Trump stumbles, uh, then his, his faction will lose completely. There's nobody who can replace him. And he'll also take the Republican party with him because let's be real, uh, Ron DeSantis is not winning over the Trump cult. It's not going to happen. The Trump cult is not going to go to Ron DeSantis. They are ride or die to Donald Trump. So I think the best thing, I don't know, like it all depends on how, on whether Donald Trump is able to actually energize himself through this process or if he gets demoralized. Because I think if Donald Trump starts to lose, I mean, he already has. Like Donald Trump has been kind of low energy for a while. Uh, ever since he lost to Joe Biden, got absolutely decked. He had a short period of time where he was super energized pushing his uh you know his messaging about the election but uh then it's fallen off and i don't know maybe this will give him the energy he needs to like have something to keep himself entertained or whatever but i'm gonna be completely honest he looked pretty low energy his speech was pretty low energy